very, very similar to this. Whatever works, I wore this original and I had that idea. cleaning supplies I got from Normal. If you're not familiar with Normal, it's like um, a Danish shop where you get like lots of like cleaning supplies, beauty products, all this kind of stuff. Kind of reminds me of like a super drug or something like that, you know, that kind of place. There's like lots of different things that are a bit discounted. And a few sweets here and there. In this particular part of the hall, because there's three of them all together, um, I'm going to be showing you all the like hair tools and beauty tools. And then this next too. In the last one, it will be makeup and makeup tools. And I think just some other beauty items. But yeah, I did get a lot. And then probably before the part three comes out of the haul, I might pop up the um, vlog I actually filmed. see where I picked all this stuff up, <laughs> what the shop looks like, and, you know, why I was <laughs> persuaded to get all this stuff. Well, persuaded. I didn't need much persuading, but you know. I figured I would start this video with a normal bag, because a lot of you enjoyed this album. I'm not a huge fan of these bags, like I'm a fan of the sound, of course, um, but they are just too weak, like they're pretty much see-through, like, see-through, kind of made of like plasticky fabric almost, almost like, um, you know when you put like a, a paper tablecloth on a table for a party, it's like maybe a lot sturdier than that, but like, it's not far. <laughs> this one has snow on it. The snow. Dropping down. I'm going to spend a minute or two making some sleepy sounds with this bag before we get into the hall. If you just want to see what I got, that's fine. You can just skip ahead. Timestamps will be down below. Otherwise, enjoy.
wiring going through it is going to make all the difference. 
like to keeping it in place and stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that, I don't think, like, it's probably just supposed to be like straight across, but I like my weirdo worm snake. <laughs> Stylists loved by millions. Okay, 
Oh, like on the front. Wet brush. I like the handle shape.
for like concerts and things like that, but he actually often wears them um, if, I, <laughs> if I'm going to Hoover, he'll put them on so he's pretty sensitive. And these are reusable earplugs with cord, extremely user-friendly, easy to rinse, using soap and water, and dust-proof storage box. So I didn't even notice they were in storage box. Makes sense. Um, the thing that interested me the most about them is the cord. <laughs> if you have kids, um, there's no way of keeping track of little um, earplugs when they're just a little foam colored ones. You know? So I figured I could just keep one of these in my bag. And if we ever go to like super noisy places. It'll be pretty cool. And also I thought like if you wanted to wear your phones like your plugs when you're asleep it might be cool because like I don't know if you're camping and you want some earplugs <laughs> like it's noisy or someone is snoring um you won't lose them in your sleeping bag or something you know be easily found again. a few face tools. This one is just like some tweezers. What does it say? My tweezers slanted. I actually do prefer a slanted tweezer because if you're using your tweezers in the mirror, right, you're like plucking your eyebrows and whatever. It's like if they're straight cut then your, your hand is like directly in front of where you're plucking between you and the mirror. So that doesn't make any sense to me. So if you find it difficult, just get the slanted ones. Pince à épiler from crab. Oh, they call it the, um, the slanted ones like this. They call it the crab shape. Why the crab shape? I don't know. Pop this open. It's got like a um, little diamond imprints all the way down. So I'm like just for grip or for a show. <laughs> I'm not sure. Probably works for both. For grip and for show. <laughs> that just reminded me I had all, all you can eat sushi yesterday. <laughs> a little date lunchtime while the kids were at school. This is kind of fun. <laughs> it's a little silly. I do not know if it's useful or not. <laughs> My nose cleansing brush. Oh, look, it's got a little happy face. Hi, I'm here to clean your nose. Okay, so silicone finger stick to remove dead skin and blackheads. <laughs> How cute is that? It's like the little... Um, gloves. You know the gloves? Like a lot of ASM artists made sounds with them for a while. They're like silicone gloves that you do the dishes with or clean with and they've got like all the little oh, spike products. That is so cute. Hi. I'm here to clean your nose without this. It's pretty cute. This could be a great little trigger guy, actually. Like, to like do triggers on a microphone. Like, actually, on the microphone. Maybe. When I actually try out my Blue Yeti. Maybe I should get one of these for that day. Or maybe two. I don't know. I don't remember how much it cost, but I'm sure it didn't cost too much. I think I would actually really like using this on my nose, like little circular movements, nice little cleanser. I like the fact that you can hang it up and this will boil nicely. <laughs> I've got to think about that now. Like if I'm ever getting any 
making products like that. Okay, whereas this one, I'm not sure if this will boil nicely. My facial cleansing brush. I already have one of these, but I figured I would get a backup because I know I will get the ache at some point. <laughs> it's the one where you have the like super soft brush on one side and then the silicone on the other side. So here it is. It's like a hollow plastic handle. It looks like you should be able to set it up, but it's like completely very thick plush brush that feels amazing to cleanse your face with and then this part I love this part and it is very very similar to this these little silicone scrubbers feel amazing just kind of goes softly with it though. You're not like really, like that's why I don't like the word scrub. You're not really scrubbing. You're not like scrubbing like if you're in the kitchen, you know. It's really like little soft circular motions. Be careful with your skin. Gotta be careful. also got something that I've never had before. Like, I've never had this before, obviously, but I've had similar, similar things. But this is a derma roller. And I'm actually in two minds about actually using this on my face. Um, I've always avoided it because I just think stamming little holes into your face is just like asking for little, I don't know, just like for the stuff to get in there, I don't know, just it doesn't sound like a good idea to me. But I thought I could use it for ASMR purposes. I'll have a look into it to see if I'll try it on my face, but I don't know. Boost your skin, pure and care. Puka. Expand your facial care. Used together with Puka Pure and Care Serum. I think it doesn't really matter which serum you use. What does it say? What does it say? Okay. With regular use, Derma Roller will help you improve your skin's ability to regenerate, promote elasticity, remove impurities and increase your skin's natural radiance. Derma Roller is composed of many high-quality micro-thin needles that painlessly roll over and penetrate the skin's surface, creating thousands of microscopic punctures. That sounds like, like I get it, that way the skincare really gets into your skin, but also everything else can get this enables the skin to start repairing itself, triggering the production of more collagen. Yeah, that did. That makes sense too. Recommended needle length, home use, <laughs> 0 0.25 millimeters and 0 0.5. Short needles are recommended for the face and neck, skin regeneration, pigmentation problems, anti-wrinkle and anti-aging. Clinical use is the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.75. Recommended for cellulite and body treatments. I didn't know that. Looks pretty fancy. It's got the 0 0.5 mils written there. And this packaging feels extremely medical. You know, like when you get like sterile things that you're supposed to like only use once, things like that. They come in this like paper on one side, plastic on the other. That's 
a little leaflet with it, which I'm going to read before using it. Like, uh, how to use... Da -da, da -da -da. Don't put foundation on for the first 24 hours after treatment. So it's not like a nightly thing. Roll back and forth four times. Da -da. Use disinfection gel. Bacteria. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely read all of that to be sure that I'm not doing something silly. Does anybody use this? use it, it will have some sort of ASMR <laughs> use. They're very small, aren't they? Hold on. Don't see anything, can you? There. Can you see the little, little spikes there? I don't even know if they're showing up on camera. You can kind of see them spiking out there. Looks way more fancy than the one I got from H&M. <laughs> Obviously, it's not the same. massage roller thingy. But I think it might be better for its more sounds. This doesn't even seem like it would make sounds. I want to try it on my hand. Oh, that's weird. Like, I can feel the little spikies. But also, it's so minimal. It's just, like, very delicate. Hmm. I'll see. I'm not sure about it. What does it sound like on other things? There is a sound. I'll have to think about it. I'll think about it. Obviously, you can't use it for both. Like, I'm not gonna roll it all over, like, lots of things. <laughs> and then use it on my face. It's not gonna happen. Okay. What else do I have? I think I still have something. Yeah, I still have the pedicure set that I got. And then after the pedicure set, it's all the snacks. <laughs> I know, I was going to do this one last so that all the snacks would wait till the end so it would give me like more of a boost to finish filming, like to get the filming done. But we're having a film day tomorrow. And we're going to be watching one of the Ninja Turtles, um, the old Ninja Turtle films, and maybe another film. And the kids have snacks, like I got my son at Smarties, the little boxes of Smarties, he loves them. And my daughter asked for Kit Kats or um, Maltesers, so I got the little Kit Kat balls. I was like, that's kind of almost the same. Two in one. <laughs> I know, it's not really... Maltesers, but can't get it to look like Maltesers. And then I want the uh, popcorn that I got <laughs> from normal like weeks ago, so you'll see in a minute. Or in a few minutes. Let's look at the, the feet still first. Ta da! My pedicure kit. <laughs> so some of this stuff I have already used. For example, the two-sided file with like the pumice stone on one side. I definitely use things like that with the little file in the back. Then the metal file, it looks like a little cheese grater. <laughs> there. Hold on, I need to go grab some scissors to get all this stuff out. Otherwise, I won't see much. Okay, I removed everything from the packaging. Okay, now see now, I didn't realize, but it's one handle. And then they're all different attachments. My pedicure kit. Yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. Replaceable head system for styles. Like, they're styles. <laughs> okay, so number one, pumice stone. Which is already... It has a plastic cover on it. Am I supposed to keep that on there? I don't think so. How would it dry out after use? Or can you use them dry? Or 
they always supposed to be used? Wait, I don't know, I don't want to like scratch or tap on them I don't want my nails to file <laughs> a string tray. So yeah, you have the pumice stone on this side and then the file on the other which is the second <laughs> attachment so you get three files, two-sided file, a number three metal file, which is the cheese grater looking file. I've never used something like that before. Like the pumice stone and the file file, yes, but like a cheese gratery type file. No. So that would be interesting. And then the last one is shaver for removing callous skin. I'm interested in this one because um, I've never used that before. And I always think, wouldn't it be cool if something just was a bit more like, you know? I don't know. I don't, I'm like a little nervous about it, but also I'm like, anybody used one of these things before. Maybe it's overkill. I'm not sure. I don't have like super problem feet or anything. I just have like always dry skin. Like calluses on my heels, like cracked heels, like proper cracked. Because I always wear sandals in the summer and the hard water here is a nightmare for skin. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. How to use, remove the head by pressing the button on the handle and gently pull off the head. Okay, okay. it wasn't so gentle but it worked. <laughs> okay, and then, okay let's put this one in see. Dun, dun, dun. Button on the handle, pull on the head. Insert the head by pressing it against the handle until it clicks into place. Warning, remove the blade on the shaver before you insert it. Oh, there's a blade in there, like a proper blade in there. I've got to be careful. Let me just put this one on. <laughs> yeah, that was a big click. But it's fine. It was easy. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to have some lovely soft feet for spring. And some lovely like accessories and beauty and care stuff that I got. Let's finish this video with some crinkly snacks. And this first item is actually not a snack and it's also not crinkly, <laughs> but um, it's a drink. Chai latte. Just add milk or water and it's sweet. Um, I will be adding water or like probably soy milk or almond milk or something. Nordic roast. Sweet caramel. Um, does this already have milk? Like lacto? Yeah, it does. That's fine. Maybe it doesn't have too much. Sucre, <laughs> lactose, sirop de glucose, les crémes en poudre. Lead de noix de coco. Mm. Yeah, it definitely does have. I mean, what did I think it was gonna have? Latte. Um, but because it's like add milk or water, I thought, oh, well, maybe I can just get around it by just adding water and it won't be too lactosey. <laughs> or I'll just not drink a lot of it. I'll just have a cup now and again. But I just always hear people. About their chai lattes, and I'm always like, oh, I would like to try what that is. I would like to try what that is. <laughs> I would like to try that and know what it is and know what it tastes like. And plus, it said sweet caramel, so I was like, mm -hmm. it's sweet. Maybe I can smell it. <laughs> it just looks like milk powder. Oh, that smells lovely. Yeah, 
enjoy trying this out. Maybe I'll make some and put it in one of my fake Starbucks cups. <laughs> Nordic Roast, the brand name. Maybe, yeah, Nordic Roast. Two to three teaspoons, tuna meal. She looked at the brand Jelly Bone. for 
since that day. Like the other stuff is nice, fun, whatever, but this, when I saw it, I was like, I have to have that. It sounds like heaven. Werther's Original Caramel Popcorn Sea Salt and Pretzel. <gasps> Doesn't that just sound like the most delicious thing ever? That just sounds absolutely perfect to me. I love salted caramel. I love Werther's Originals. I love popcorn. Just all pretzels. I love pretzels. All of it squished in together. It's amazing. Has anyone ever seen one of these before? It just sounds so like
Have a love.